What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. It's December 31st, um, 2021, so we're wrapping up this crazy year. Uh, I just wanted to start off by sending our condolences out to all the families in Boulder County with that tragic fire from yesterday. Um, I hope everyone's okay and everyone can move on from the horrible tragedy of the uh, never-ending fires out here in the West. But on to a more positive note, um, the, the video of today that I wanted to talk about is how you might be able to join in the mushroom industry without actually growing mushrooms. So um, I know that the majority of my channel is about how to cultivate mushrooms and all the science behind it. But today I just wanted to share my thoughts and expressions on how someone might be able to join in the, the new shroom boom which is happening all across um, the, the United States and just the West in general. So I think that the first option, if you um, can't cultivate mushrooms for whatever reason, maybe you don't have the space or you just don't have the knowledge and skills, um, you can always go foraging for mushrooms. So um, it's really important that you have the knowledge before you go out and pick mushroom and eat it. So I recommend taking a class or multiple classes and joining your local mycology society. Uh, here out in Boulder, actually, um, my friend Michael Heim, he does private forays with Enzo Farm and Forage. And I've done that with him in the past, and it's really fun, and it's a good way to understand the environment that mushrooms typically grow in. And also, he's right there to help you identify all the mushrooms that you find. Um, if you haven't been to the Telluride Mushroom Festival, I highly recommend going there. There's tons and tons of um, forays and really knowledgeable people that can guide you on your adventure in the woods um, trying to find mushrooms and then if you haven't checked out our video with forage.market um, our friends over in North Carolina are establishing a wild food market um, over the internet so there's definitely a lot of opportunities out there for foraging if you are more into wandering around in the woods than um, a precise grow environment um, that I usually talk about here on this channel. So another really cool industry that is evolving um, is the mushroom art industry. So our friends here in Denver make these cool like copper mushrooms um, and I'll be posting some of these on Etsy soon but um, the, the mushroom art industry especially on Etsy is starting to explode um, there's some really cool uh, prints, and I got this uh, this funky lamp that has like little glow-in-the-dark mushrooms that you put on your wall. Um, shout out to uh, Mushroom Mac uh, McKenzie here in Denver, and Irene Antonez Art um, over in Prague, but they produce really cool digital prints and um, canvas prints. And I feel like if you're a good artist and um, you're at a loss for, you know, new material, definitely dive deep into the mushroom realm. It, it is um, starting to take off pretty quickly. And um, I love art. And, you know, it's, it's just a really, really personable way to enter into this booming industry. All right. So we've got foraging, mushroom art. And the next thing you can do, if you are familiar with the health benefits of mushrooms and all of the, um, the new techniques for doing extractions and chemistry, um, is processing mushrooms. So you can either make broth, powders, tinctures, concentrates, but um, the most important aspect of this mushroom product industry is sourcing your mushrooms. So make sure you get 
mushrooms from a reliable source. Um, but definitely um, cordyceps, reishi, lion's mane, turkey tail, uh, shaga, all of these mushrooms are starting to explode in popularity. So there is a huge opportunity for what I call mushroom processing or just um, medicinal mushrooms in general. So number four, um, teaching about mushrooms and spreading the word like on this YouTube channel. There's definitely a huge demand for knowledge. Um, the, mu the mushroom industry is just blossoming in 2022, so there is plenty of space in the industry to teach about mushrooms. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, Zach and I, we posted our class schedule for 2022, so you can visit mushroomcult.net backslash events if you're interested in taking our in-person class or our First online class is January 15th, so I'll post a link in the description below. But if you have any type of skill um, that could be applied in the mushroom industry, I, I highly encourage you to either join YouTube or join your local mycology community and you know spread your knowledge and then apply that to mushrooms and it could really pay off dividends. All right, so then the the last um, section of the blossoming mushroom industry that I think is very highly undervalued right now is mushroom manufacturing. So back in April, I visited the, uh, the Hemp Expo here in Denver, and there was a few different companies that were producing um, packaging material, mushroom leather, um, insulation, construction material. Um, they were using hemp and mycelium. And I believe that um, the textile industries with, with dyes, uh, more natural products, as you know, the mushroom industry evolves, there's going to be a lot of byproducts. And I think that mushroom manufacturing is definitely going to take off in the very near future. So if you're an engineer out there, or if you're just a craft maker, um, there's definitely an opportunity for you to get into the mushroom industry without necessarily growing your own mushrooms. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Give us a thumbs up. Um, I hope everyone out there has a happy new year. Bring in 2022 with a roar. And it's going to be a really big year for us. Um, we're planning on building out our Quonset and just really increasing our production. So we'll be seeing you guys at the Cherry Creek Farmer's Market in the spring, and then I'll just keep on producing videos, and I've got a few other projects um, coming down the pipeline, so stay tuned for that, and until next time, much love.